Richard. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Um, I congratulate and thank the Honourable Member for Gospel for securing this important debate today. And the courage and the bravery of the children and the families that we've heard about today is deeply moving, and I think on its own should be enough to galvanise some change. Yeah. I want to use my speech today to reflect on my very brave constituent, Alice Wakeling. Unfortunately, I never got to meet Alice, um, but I'm honoured to say that her mother, Sarah, has joined us today in the gallery. Yeah, 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 yeah. And having worked with Sarah since becoming an MP in 2019, I've truly been inspired by her dedication, her resolve and her love. And I hope to do her and her amazing daughter justice this afternoon in telling her story in the time that I have available. Alice was a healthy three-year-old who began to develop a small lump on her neck. After eight weeks of diagnosis, tests, the family finally heard the news that anyone would dread. The lump, which continued to grow and was now putting pressure on Alice's airwaves, was a stage four fusion positive alveolar rhabdomyosarcoma that we've heard about today with Sophie as well. Um, rhabdomyosarcoma is a rare soft tissue sarcoma. They grow in the voluntary muscles of the body, such as the muscles we use to, in our arms and legs. In Alice's case, the primary tumour was attached to a gland in her neck uh, and a small tumour in her lungs. She was given a 50-50 chance of survival over five years. Mr Deputy Speaker, may I remind you, she was just three years old. After 20 months of chemotherapy at Great Ormond Street, um, Alice was proudly proud to ring the bell at the end of her treatment. But 15 months later, the cancer came back. At four, she saw her ulcer survival drop to just 8%. Now, Great Ormond Street suggested a procedure uh, in Amsterdam known as a more, this is incredibly grueling for poor Alice, but she got through it, and once again she rang the bell. Yet, a few months later, the family heard the news that they all dreaded, the cancer was back again. Uh, after an ultrasound, they found a large mass in her abdomen and with similar masses falling around her bladder and pelvis. Uh, and the doctors just said there was nothing they could do, and I think Alice had just had enough. So, in August 2019, Alice was taken home under the care of the outpatient palliative care team in Great Ormond Street, where she peacefully died two months later. She was seven years old. Throughout her illness, um, Alice's parents, Sarah and David, became a, a part of a worldwide network of medical professionals um, to help children undergoing cancer treatments. They now run Alice's Ark, an amazing children's charity for those suffering with cancer, and they campaign for more and new curative treatment options for children and relapse. We've heard it all today. Greater funding, more training for GPs, more research funding. All these things, I think, can and will be possible and will be a fitting tribute to Alice and all the other children we've heard about today. Yeah, 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 yeah.